Kayla and welcome to my August favorites. Um, I have not done a favorites video in a while so some of these things probably could have gone into a June or July favorites but I didn't do one. So I'm just going to kind of jump in to all these things around me that I've been loving in August. There's a little bit of beauty, a little bit of hair care, um, some books, some organizational stuff. Um, and then some like TV, music, YouTube um, at the end. So we're just gonna jump on in. Um, so first I have two lipsticks. Um, those are my only makeup favorites this month. Oh no, three makeup products, two of them are lipsticks, then there's a palette. So the first one is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Um, it's just a nice brown, not too dark. Um, it's kind of been my go-to, just kind of grab and go if I'm just doing a concealer, mascara, lipstick day. This has been one I've been loving this summer, um, which is a little bit of a weird choice for summer because usually when you think of this like kind of brown tone, you think more of a fall color. Um, but I also <laughs> live in fall colors year-round, so I think that makes sense that this is one of my favorites because I just love my fall colors. Um, my other lipstick favorite, um, you saw in my What's My Purse video, is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in um, Philosopher, which is this light purple. Um, this has been one of my go-tos this summer, too. It is honestly, and I have a lot of purples in my collection, because I love purple lipstick, but this is honestly one of my favorite purples in my collection. I think it's the most wearable. Um, it doesn't look too out there vampy, which, I mean, I don't mind being, you know, out there and vampy sometimes, but this one doesn't really look it. Um, so I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, my next beauty product is a weird one to be in a favorites video in 2018, um, but it is Naked 3. As you can tell by the look I'm wearing today, which does not involve this palette, by the way, um, I have been loving my blush pink eyes again. Um, duh. <laughs> Always, but I've been really reaching for Naked 3 a lot more this summer um, than I have in a while. So uh, I've been using... Liar a lot. Um, what else have I been really reaching for? Uh, Burnout quite a bit, actually. Um, and then Nooner is still one of my favorite crease colors ever. Uh, so yeah, I've been reaching for this a lot more lately, um, and I think it's going to get a lot more love going into the fall. Alright, um, I have a hair product, and this is the, uh, ooh, this isn't the one. I, just, I thought this was the one, but it's not. But this is one of them, so I'm just going to talk about it. This is the Aussie Mega Moist Shampoo, um, but I also have been using the, their Curl um, line now. And that's what the real favorite is, but also this one has been great this summer too because my hair is super dry. But they have a shampoo that's specifically for curly hair now, and it has been giving my hair life. My hair is a little flat today because I like took a nap on the couch. Um, so it didn't dry perfectly, um, but it's been helping my curls so much. Um, and this one was too before I found the curl one. So this has definitely been a favorite this summer is my Aussie shampoos, especially the Smega Moist and the curls. Um, the whole curl line. Um, body products. First one is an oldie bit of goodie that I'm sure has been mentioned in favorites videos before. Um, but that is the Bath & Body Works Lemon Pomegranate Cream. I am almost out of all my stuff in this collection, and it breaks my heart, because I don't think it's ever going to come back. Um, but this is one of my favorite scents Bath & Body Works has ever come out with, um, and so I've been using that all summer as my fragrance mist. I think I'm going to put it away um, in September, uh, just because it's fall time, but I'll definitely come back to it again and finish this bottle up. I have about half of it left. It makes me really sad, because I think this is my last fragrance mist that I have. I might have a mini one, but I think this is the last full size. Which makes me sad. Um, and another body product I have, which is also a Bath & Body Works product that you can't get anymore, of course, um, is the Bath & Body Works Mineral Co. Um, Rose Quartz Body Cream. I've been using this as a hand cream, um, and I absolutely love it. It smells beautiful. The notes say rose water, lily petals, and patchouli. Um, and I love anything rose water um, like so much but yeah this has been my favorite one of my favorite scents I think I only bought the hand cream so now I'm or not the hand cream the body cream so now I'm really sad because I wish I had bought a lot more of this so if anyone sees it at Bath and Body Works let me know in the comments because I it's not at mine anymore so let me know um, I'll check during semi-annual in January it'll be fine they'll have some during semi-annual I hope I hope um okay let's move on to organization. 
because there's only one thing there. Um, all of you guys know I love my Erin Condren planner. This summer I haven't been using it, which has been killing me, just because I've been so busy and my days have been very similar, so I haven't really needed to plan them out. Um, I can see it right now, it's right behind me, and my one for this year is beautiful, and I can't wait to start using it, um, but I just haven't needed it this summer. But I did decide that I wanted to keep all of my theater work in a separate planner um, and focus on my Erin Condren being for YouTube and my personal life um, and substitute teaching. So I did buy this new planner. This is a Staples planner. Um, just one of their like basics. It's just a basic weekly planner um, from Staples. The weekly spreads look like that. And the monthly spreads look like that. Um, so I've just been using this to write out my scheduling, but then also like some of my lesson plans for the day. Like, you're not going to be able to read any of this, um, but I just kind of use it like chaos to do kind of what I'm doing those days. I put random to-do lists up top um, and just any notes I needed. I marked like when kids were going to be absent from things, um, when I had auditions, what each block of the day was going to be um, for camp. Um, when I have rehearsals for sh the show I'm in, I kind of wrote down which scene we were rehearsing when, just so I feel a little more organized. Um, this is a week like when I have a performance and I start teaching again, so these days where I'm teaching um, will be filled up with more of my like notes for teaching for that day. Um, and in the front it just has the theaters that this has been for, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I think this will be a much better way to keep me organized with all of the theater work I'm doing this year since I'm trying to get back into acting as well as directing and teaching, so I need to like keep my theater stuff all separate. Alright, um, I have two books. The first one is Balanced and Beautiful by Karina and Katrina of Tone It Up. Um, I haven't followed the plan yet in this, but I did read it all the way through, and I really like it. Um, I like kind of the layout of it of each um, each day of the like five day plan um, has a different like keyword. Um, so day one is refresh, day two is motivate, day three is inspire, day four is energize, and day five is relax. Um, and it just has a lot of good inspirational stuff and some more good recipes and workouts. Um, but yeah, I just like this. I like it a lot more than their last book. So this is Balanced and Beautiful. You can get it at Target, on Amazon, I think on their website. I got mine at Target. Um, and it has exclusive content if you buy it at Target. I think it's like an extra recipe and maybe an extra workout. Yeah, it's an extra workout, an extra recipe if you buy it at Target, so might be worth it. Yeah, I don't know, it's up to you guys. Um, and my next book, you guys actually will see in Wednesday's video, um, as something on my to-read list, and I still need to read some of it, but it is um, The Book of Tarot by Danielle Noel. Um, I, it just like really spoke to me, because the coloring, um, obviously, as everything else in this haul has proved, um, but it just... It's fairly detailed, has questions to ask related to the cards, and then the... Ugh, I need to buy this deck. Um, the cards themselves that there are pictured in here, which is from the Star Child Tarot, are like stunning. Um, so I just really love all of the imagery in this and the papers. Like, look at the background for that. Um, so this just has been something I've loved and I've been really inspired by. Um, if you guys want me to do a whole video about um, my journey with astrology and tarot, I can. I'm still a little iffy on doing a video about it just because I'm still really diving in more, but I could if that's something people are interested in. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I can't wait to buy the deck because it's beautiful. But that's going to have to be like a birthday present to myself because it's kind of pricey. And I'm kind of broke. <laughs> Alright, um, my written down favorites. Uh, TV this summer has been kind of meh. Um, World of Dance is back, and I love World of Dance. Um, I cry almost every episode, because I'm such a weirdo. Art just, like, dance is one of those art forms that just always moves me to tears. Um, and especially when it's, like, kids who are, like, so excited about it and so talented. I'm just like, uh. 
Um, so World of Dance and Bachelor in Paradise, which like hasn't been super exciting this summer, but I always love it because who doesn't love a bunch of idiots drunk in Mexico trying to fall in love? I don't know. Um, I only have two songs for this month, um, and that is Right Now by Nick Jonas, love it, and God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. And usually I don't have Ariana Grande songs on my lists, but I'm obsessed with God is a Woman obsessed. Um, and then as far as YouTubers go, it's kind of the same old, same old, um, but I have a few new ones. Um, as you guys know, I'm getting more into tarot, and so uh, Imogen Walters has been someone whose videos I've been watching a lot lately. Um, she's great. Um, Karis from Busy Bee Karis, and then her and her fiance have a vlog channel, um, James and Karis. I've watching a lot of her videos. She does a lot of trying to recreate outfits and she like just orders a shit ton of clothes and like makes them into beautiful outfits um and I've gotten back into watching uh Louise Pentland's vlogs I had been watching them pretty religiously and then I just kind of stopped this summer because I was so busy um but since camp has been over I've been able to get back into them um and I really enjoy her vlogs and her regular videos but those I was still watching more regularly the vlogs are just so long that like you have to have time to sit down and watch you know 45 minutes of video um, which I just really hadn't had so yeah that is my August favorites if you like these kind of videos give them a big old thumbs up if you have ideas for more videos you'd like to see from me leave them down in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye